and welcome back to Pizza Class. In this video, I'll show you how to make barbecue chicken pizza. This is a simple and short recipe, but it's always a hit with the crowds. So let's start by talking, as we always do, about equipment and ingredients. For this pizza, we don't need too much in terms of equipment. Just our pizza screen and a cheese grater. With that in place, I'll talk about our ingredients. The first thing you'll need is some chicken. Now, you can grill your own chicken, which I recommend, but if you're in a hurry or you just want to take a shortcut, you can also purchase a rotisserie chicken, like I have here. This rotisserie chicken can be purchased at Sam's Club or Walmart and can be quite perfect for pizza. The next ingredient is some, some sliced red onions. I like red onions because of the color and the flavor that they give the pizza. You don't need many, just about a half a cup. The third ingredient is barbecue sauce. Now, you can buy barbecue sauce just off the shelf, just like this. If you're really into it, you can make your own, but I typically just pick a favorite and go with it. Today we're using hickory smoke flavored barbecue sauce, but I also love Sweet Baby Ray's and a couple of others like Casey Masterpiece. Just find your favorite brand of barbecue sauce and, and use it. Lastly, we need two types of cheese for this pizza. Our whole milk mozzarella in block form and some mild cheddar also in block form. We're gonna grate this cheese and use it on top of our pizza as a blend. So we'll begin with some white meat from the chicken breast and I've got some thigh meat here as well. Just gonna cube that. Really half inch is fine. Small enough so that we can spread it on the pizza. And once you've got your chicken cubed, we can combine that with our barbecue sauce. You only need about a half a cup. I just like to drizzle it on top and mix it up. We're gonna put a little bit more of this on the base, but I like to combine the sauce with the chicken so that I'm sure that it's coated. Got our chicken coated, it's time to set that aside. Our next preparation step involves shredding our cheese. You always use a large cheese grater because it gives you a larger shape to the cheese and it melts better that way in my opinion. So we'll start with the cheddar. Doesn't really matter. You can start with the mozzarella if you'd like. And we're just going to get about a half a cup of that. And then we'll add our whole milk mozzarella cheese. Shred that right on top. We're going to blend these together to become the cheese for the top of our pizza. Now we've got our cheese and we're ready to begin prepping the pizza base. Here I've got a dough ball that I've made a couple of days ago and it is ready to become a pizza. So we'll start by getting it out of the container. I like to lightly coat that so it doesn't stick to my hand. And I've let this dough ball come to room temperature. I like to place that into my Caputo flour Rest that on my bench, and we're ready to shape this pizza. So as always, we start from the edge of that pizza and form our crust. And using the flat part of three of your fingers and you're using your hand as a stopping point. You don't want to press that crust too much, just enough to form an outer rim. Once we've got our crust formed, we pat, pat down the middle lightly and we're ready to stretch this into a pizza. So we'll grab our pizza screen, we're taking our fish, just the bottom of our fist like that and we're stretching the outer edge. Don't usually have to stretch the middle of the pizza at all, just the, the outer rim is all we need to do. I've got some nice supple dough here, so we've already got the shape that we're after. And we're ready to top this pizza. The first thing we'll do is make sure that we have a base for the pizza. We don't want any bites that are just dough. So I do like to put some of the barbecue sauce directly on the pizza. We don't need a lot, just about a half of a cup. I'm not gonna measure, I'm just gonna drizzle this. Just so I know we'll have it covered. I'll take a spoon and give ourselves a 
real light base. You don't need a lot here, unless you like your barbecue sauce a lot. You don't want to overpower the rest of the flavors in the pizza with the cheese and the chicken. Uh, it's a little too light, so I'm going to add just a little bit more. Again, experimenting is really a good thing. So if you try this pizza and you didn't use enough sauce, you can add more the next time. But I like to just kind of give a nice even coat to the base of that pizza. The next step is to add our chicken back into the pizza. So we'll just sprinkle that around the pizza. This is a messy one. Just want to make sure that everyone gets a bite of chicken. So we had just about perfect amount of chicken there on our plate. And now you can see the pizza is completely covered with chicken. And the next step is to add our blended cheese. So we're going to go ahead and top that pizza with cheese. Just going to go all the way around. And our final step is to add the red onion. And again, the red onion is really just a garnish. I like to keep the slices large in case I have people who want to remove the onions. I also like how it looks. And a red onion is not an overpowering flavor, so it does a good job for this pizza. And our barbecue chicken pizza is ready for the oven. We're about to put this barbecue chicken pizza in the oven. Now our oven has been preheated for over an hour and it's at 485 degrees. So we'll place the pizza in the oven for about eight minutes and we won't open the door until that timer dings. Our, okay, our barbecue ch chicken pizza is ready to come out of the oven. We'll just take it off of the tray there. And there we have a lovely barbecue chicken pizza and we're ready to cut that pizza you should hear that nice crust crispy crunch and that pizza is ready to be served so that's it a simple recipe for a great tasting pizza that everyone's sure to love so i hope you enjoyed this episode of pizza class